Hi guys, welcome to yet another episode of Handmaster Wheels. I'm here in the beautiful countryside of Germany and I have the facelifted C-Class along with me in this episode. I bought the C coupe form which is a very unique form in India and we'll be bringing out other variants which will be coming to India very soon. And you know C-Class is the most significant model for Mercedes-Benz. It's a bread and butter model. They've done huge volume and to retain their leadership in the segment they bought the facelifted variant. Let's see what are the changes and let's have an enjoyable drive here in the beautiful side of Europe in Germany. I kickstarted the drive with the coupe variant which is going to come to India anytime early next year or late this year and it's a unique model because we Indians don't have much coupes on offering uh, in the market whatever we have is either the high performance variant or could be a smaller than this as of now there is no direct rival for this C coupe whatever we have is a Audi TT which is a smaller variant basically and we also have the RS5 Coupe which is a high performance one. So if Mercedes is bringing the C63 S Coupe then it could be a direct rival for the Audi RS5. So what I'm driving now is a C300 with an inline 4 cylinder turbo petrol engine. It's a new engine and it's having an output of 258 HP and 370 Nm of torque. It really is a powerful engine for the size of this engine. It's only 2 litre and it's delivering a huge power. So we started off the drive and as soon as we crossed the German border, we were on autobahn and so where there was allowed, we were touching the max of the car effortlessly. So it's a brilliant powertrain. It's mated to a 9-speed uh, gearbox, which again is a very responsive, smooth gearbox. It's a very refined one and it's very responsive than the 7-speed so complement for the performance as well as for the efficiency of this car. Uh, with the new drive select you know Mercedes is coming out with five different driving mode options. Whatever we tested now uh, is the Sport and Sport Plus and you know the power delivery was amazing. So what I really loved about the car is the peppiness of this car and it's very nimble it's a very handy car and if you want to have a lifestyle car I think it's the right bet because you know it's a small car, it's not a huge coupe like the S63 and it's having an optimum engine which is again good uh, for our daily commute. It's quick enough, it's powerful enough for your weekend blast drives and it's even refined for your daily use so it's a good balance between both. And the nimbleness is when you drive in such condition which is equivalent to what we have in India, it's city drive even though we have a very civilized traffic culture here where we're driving we don't have it that but these kind of small roads what we have in this countryside is very similar to what we have in India so so this nimbleness really caught my attention because it's a very nimble car it's very handy so this kind of cars are real bet for India so let's see when Mercedes is bringing this car but I would say it's a real bet for India market The facelift Mercedes has not gone with a drastic change on both exterior and interior but definitely they have improved in various areas where it has required. So let's find out what are the changes both in interior and exterior. So let me start off with the interior first till I get the good spot to stop over and show you what are the changes in the exterior. On interior the design has been retained as in the pre facelifted one which was well accepted with the new design philosophy of Mercedes with round air vent the center is having three and both side having two and the layout has been retained the same but there are significant changes which are really admirable one is the, the new infotainment screen which is definitely bigger and wider than the earlier one and a beautiful attractive instrument console when you talk about the screen it is uh, much bigger I think it's a 12.3 inch 
it can be controlled in three different ways one is the very known naughty knob and the other one is a touch over here and third one is what we have seen in the new generation mercedes is the touch function like in blackberries on the steering wheel which is again very user friendly you know the right one is for the screen and left one is for the instrument console which again is a new one it's good enough to compete with audi's new smart instrument console which we have seen in a lot of models like the q5 and the a4 this one is a full lcd screen with three different kind of displays and you can also get other informations on the center console and you can even select what the information you want maybe from the normal trip meter to navigation and lot other things which can be opted from here so that's a key improvement in the new c-class interior apart from that there's a very supportive sporty seat for the coupe it's a one piece seat which looks sporty in design and it's a very good holding and it's comfortable the car we are driving now has got both heating and cooling function electrically adjustable and it's also having a high quality napa leather we'll have to wait and see what all of the features coming out to india but i think they will bring out all these features because the rivals are having all this on their cars apart from that interior pretty much remain the same space in the front are really good but the rear as you can guess it's not a huge space but it was surprisingly spacer than what i expected but it is still best for two kids or two small guys who are not tall enough as a feature you are getting the burmese sound system which again is a proven one on mercedes cars and lot of other things the key is improved you are getting a induction charger on the center console lot more things which you have seen on the new cars I think now I can pull out and let you know what are the changes on the exterior. So C-Class coupe is not very common in our road. We had the C-Class Cabriolet earlier with the pre-face lifted model and coupe is one design which I really love. The first end of the car is really looking like the uh, whatever the sedan and uh, whatever station wagon or the family identity has been retained. But once from the second half, it's entirely different. And when it comes to the facelift, you have the new headlight, which is very attractive. It has got the crystal kind of treatment with the adaptive LED headlight. <laughs> the grille has been retained with the diamond strutter, and the AMG treatment has given to the front bumper, which look very attractive. There's a 19-inch alloy with a five twin spoke design, which is again a very attractive one. It's a smoked up uh, side view mirror which stand apart from the uh, body and it look uh, made it more sportier for this uh, design. When you come to the side profile, there's a huge door compared to the sedan and from here onwards there's a drop in the uh, roof and uh, it's going really like a coupe like design. It end up with a boot and it's a dropping line over here which is the identity of uh, Mercedes design which uh, and, and the tail light. And tail light again treatment is a very sleeker one which we have seen in the S coupe and came also in the E coupe. And the rear been having the coupe kind of design where the registration plate has been placed in the bumper than on the boot. So the changes are minimal but it looks more attractive, more younger and updated. are great even though it's not an AMG variant it's sporty enough to complement you with some good driving fun We are in the day two and I am driving a sedan variant right now. 
is a C200 but it has got a very new engine it's a 1.5 liter inline four cylinder petrol engine it's a completely rebuilt engine it's a very new engine with a lot of engineering going in uh, improving the efficiency and the performance it's got a very new software it's got the various technology like uh, Camatronic it's having an output of around 184 HP and 280 of torque it's got an alternator which is placed in between the engine and the gearbox and it gives additional 10 kilowatt which is around 14 HP power and uh, it is a micro hybrid and Mercedes called it as EQ boost this is EQ boost is a mild hybrid mild boosting with this alternator and it's performing very good having an output of 184 HP and 280 nm of torque it's better to 9 speed uh, 9 g tronic gearbox so, and the performance is around uh, 7.7 seconds 0 to 100 and top speed is limited to 230 km per so i picked this engine variant because it's a new engine apart from that this will be coming to india very soon when the new c class will be introducing of course in a euro 6 form but you know mercedes already having a euro 6 cars in india it's a very refined powertrain and it's having a bit of noise uh, on a higher up but it's not actually disturbing you it's a mild noise and you can enjoy it other than that it's a very refined powertrain and even the gearbox are smooth On the exterior, there are significant change came onto the facelift model, which is mainly on the headlight. The headlight which uh, we are having here is a uh, uh, multi-beam, which is having the high range, which you have seen the S-Class of the range of uh, around 650 meters, which is one of the best uh, in the segment. And uh, other light which we seen uh, yesterday on the C uh, Coupe was a different one, it's not the high range one. So uh, both of them have, have the same shape, but the internal uh, cluster is actually different. Other one look more attractive, but this is more purposeful. On the C40. Uh, there is a change on the grill earlier it was a uh, uh, diamond studded grill now it's uh, carried on from the c63 of pre face lifted bumper has been reworked with a wider air vent and it's got aerodynamics on the side profile there's no much change but we have a 19 inch alloy which is more uh, into uh, aerodynamics is more aerodynamic than earlier uh, there's a smoked up uh, side view mirror side remain the same but uh, the chrome has been blacked out and the rear also you can see a new cluster on the tail light and the tail pipes are the most attractive one now you have four round tail pipes which give more power fill and the bumper has got some fins in the below which is again attractive element friends here i am in the main machine among the bunch <laughs> C43 AMG in a beautiful twisty country road. <laughs> it's an amazing feeling to drive this here in the twisty road as well as when we are driving in Autobahn. Autobahn, of course, we were able to catch the max, but here it's more fun. We could really rip it in the way it has been built for so the new one the new c43 is having a more powerful engine than earlier of course the v6 3 liter engine with a nine speed gearbox attached to that and a formatic system is also available and the power has been boosted now it is 390 hp and 520 nm of torque so there's a formatic cool drive system which actually deliver the power into all four wheels but in a ratio which is 31.69 and so the more power is going to the rear it's not having the formatic first plus system which we have seen in the e 63 where we can cut down the power to the front wheel and make it a drift mode no it's not available but it's more than enough for a safe enjoyable drive 0 to 100 is clocked as 4.6 seconds and max is 250 but this is real fun wow that knot is available even though it's not fully original 
bit of artificial add on by the burmester but again it's fun it's real fun so this is one of the best bet for india among amg because you know it's having the balance between power and practicality the c63 which really is a monster but on a daily use this is more practical car and you can also control the exhaust system with a touch of a button so you will get both normal mode and more blasting mode 